Hi guys, uh, this is Darren here and I just wanted to show you how I quickly set up GSA for backlink in Squidoo and other Web 2.0 properties. Um, there are more in-depth ways of using GSA but this is kind of a quick guide to get going with uh, Web 2.0 properties. So um, the first thing we want to look, take a look at is in the side here, um, the different platforms that I choose. Um, I don't bother with article. It just takes too much time to, you know, create and spin an article to use um, and we want to make things as quick as possible. So I actually leave this one unchecked. Blog comments, I check. Um, directory, I don't check because most directories only accept a root domain, not an internal page, which doesn't help us when we are working with Squidoo or other web tool properties. Document sharing, um, you could use that. I just, you know, it's one extra step I don't want to do. Um, forum, um, check that one. I use guestbook and I use image comments. I don't bother with indexer because we're not trying to get things indexed, we're trying to get them ranked. So it's not our objective. Microblogs here, yep, I check those. I don't bother with pingbacks, they're not worth the time and effort. Um, referrer, I don't bother with that either. Um, again, I don't think it's worth the time and effort. And social bookmark, um, yep, I definitely use that one. Um, social network requires a full spun article, so I don't use that one. Trackbacks, again, I just kind of spammy little links and they're not really worth the time to run the software to go out and use the trackbacks. Um, video is a very good one. Um, you can get a lot of links using that. Web 2 again requires an article so I don't bother with uh, checking this one here. Um, Wiki, this is a new one um, since one of the new updated versions of the software so I haven't used that yet so I'm not going to go into that as is exploit. Um, I'm not too sure what that is about yet, so that's something I'll look into later. Okay, let me just get this out of the way. Okay, so let's move on to this section um, and I'll explain what I do here. Um, first things first, I'm going to just scroll down the page and look here at this description 450 section. This is for using with social bookmarks, also forums. Um, you basically want to create um, a very simple um, couple of sentences um, that are 450 characters long. Make it as close as to this as you can. Um, and it's just a simple thing like for this one I've written if you are a black guy um, then you understand that your hair needs a special type of hair clippers and body body blah so you want to get the best hair clippers for you and just you know just a very generic simple couple of sentences and you're going to need to take that and spin it um, make sure it's legible spins not anything um, you know that reads like crap because this is going to be approved by moderators often in these social bookmarks and other places so you know make sure it reads decent um, yeah so that's all you do for that section and then the description 250 is simple just take about two-thirds of this one so usually cap it off after about the second sentence or something like that and just plug it in here if we scroll up a little bit Yep, I also use the, um, let me just go back here. Yep, the, you know, the two thirds of the 450 section here that I plugged into here. I also just plug straight into the video description and I also plug it into the micro message here. So, and that's not too bad. It's just, you know, one simple couple of sentences that you need to spin. And that's really all you have to do as far as any kind of content goes. Moving back to the top here, um, so the first thing you need to do is plug in your URL here. Um, mine is called Best Hair Clippers for Black Men. If you type 
in to Google best hair clippers for black men the keyword you'll see I'm number one for it and it was all GSA that got me there um, so moving on to this section you don't need to check these these are only if you are using more than one URL which we are not I choose this one which helps give variation here um, you know helps put in some capitals mixes up a bit so it looks more natural um, I avoid using the root main URL in some variations because that means it's going to cut the link down to just squidoo.com and we don't want to backlink the home page of Squidoo. We want to backlink our page on Squidoo. So don't check that. Keywords. Um, this can be confusing, but these are not the keywords you want to build links for. These are actually the keywords that um, this software is going to go out and scrape the internet and find relevant sites to post these um, you know to post to these different platforms so these are what the site scrapes for so I keep them very short and sweet I usually only use around three four or five and my first keyword um, is clippers um, and this will, you know, go out and find any URL that has like hair clippers in it or clippers for guys, clippers for women, clippers for whatever. Um, so that gets us the most amount of, you know, sites to use by keeping it short and simple. If we made our second keyword, for example, hair clippers, it would be irrelevant because it would have already scraped for clippers. Um, yeah, it would have scraped that already. Um, because the word clippers is already in hair clippers so you don't need to do that um, my second keyword here is just hair uh, the next one black man African American and I leave it at that that's just to try and get more niche relevant links doesn't always but it helps um, once I've chosen my first uh, few keywords that are niche relevant I then go on to plug in 500 of the most common used words in the English language. This will then go out and scrape using all these words which makes sure that the software is coming up with many links for you to post to. I will actually um, put this up for download so you can actually download this text file that I have so you can use it with GSA. Uh, you just copy and paste it straight into here. Um, don't bother checking this collect keywords from target sites because you've got so many keywords here this becomes irrelevant and just saves you on processing power and time when building links um, you don't need to check this because we're not actually collecting keywords and I don't bother with putting keywords in quotes um, moving down to anchor text so this is actually the keywords that um, you are going to rank your site for or rank your page for sorry in this case um, I actually just used one anchor text which is often what I do with Squidoo um, and that's my main keyword and then I inputted a bunch of other related secondary keywords here oops that should be checked um, so it'll use this one you know most of the time 30% of the time is going to go and use these variations of the keyword um, do check these because these help keep your anchor text ratio in good proportion um, which you're going to need in the post penguin world um, so yeah just choose these to use generic anchor text and domain names and other things for your links Going back to this, if I only want to target one keyword, I'm not interested in targeting any secondary keywords, then I would just uncheck it and leave it like that. That works just as fine too. And if you wanted to target just two keywords, you know, you can just pop your spin tax in here, put in your, oops, put in your pipe and, and do it like that that works just as well okay moving on here image comment leave that as standard guestbook as standard this is all automatically filled in for you by GSA about yourself leave that as standard also um, we don't want to waste our time coming up with our own comments just to quickly backlink our web 2.0 properties 
these are checked by default, leave them that way. It just randomizes the login and passwords it uses um, when it goes and signs up for the different platforms. Okay, categories need a little explanation. You're gonna to need to go here and edit to choose your categories. Let me just delete these to show you how I use this. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this one. So just use short and sweet keywords that gives you more chance of landing, you know, in the right category. You have just chosen here, product reviews. Um, if you wanna add more, just click root here and then add level. Um, I'm just going to put in men, because it's to do with men's hair. Um, the little asterisk has got a, a kind of a coding thing to it where it helps you choose categories that are hair related in a sense. And I just usually choose two or three. On doing that, I then import a file of general um, terms. Um, this I will make available so you can download it and use yourself and those now import here. We have miscellaneous, other, more variations on it, general and categorized, so that if it doesn't find a niche relevant link, it will then post to one of these. So that's all I do for categories. I'll scroll down a little guest book. This is automatically filled in. Micro message we talked about. Blog comments here are automatically filled in. Um, this again is set by default and just randomizes your username and passwords for four um, forums. For, for videos, this needs a little more explanation. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to YouTube, you know, type in your title here, pick five of these videos. I'm just doing one for now. And what you're going to need to do is just copy and paste um, after the equal sign and plug that into the software here and choose five different IDs and spin them together. Okay, here you, all you need to do is actually just take the titles of those five videos and put them in here spin them and then for even more variation it's a good idea to spin them at the word level also. Um, video description we talked about already. Um, video duration just choose anything randomly between one and three minutes that's all I do for that. Um, just choose an image that's relevant to what you're doing from your desktop um, from here Website title, make this your main keyword because this will be an anchor text link. Um, description 250 and 450 we already talked about. And then these ones are filled in by default. Um, so just leave those as is. Okay, so that takes care of the data section here. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about options and email verification and how to set those up for best results. Okay, thanks for listening.